I want to kind of touch on something you mentioned about how important like fitness is to you because it's really important to me. Um, have you always been into fitness? And I guess just like how does that correlate to your creative life, being physically fit, mentally clear, um, all of those I feel personally intertwined with each other. Yeah, I and I agree with that. I think to be one's best creative self, one has to be their best self physically, mentally, emotionally, um, especially because when I shoot with people, I often tell them to be prepared to be a little physical mm. or like to move or whatever, because I feel like a lot of things I do when it comes to the composites, like whether people have to be in a position a certain way or like, hold themselves up a certain way or do something it's like there's a certain I feel like there's a certain physical aspect that comes to shooting and it's you know like if I was like you know no shade to anyone but like if I was obese like I feel like I would not be able to do or move the way I want to and create things I want to like for instance like when I'm on film sets like I'm crawling under things like I'm getting into tiny spaces, like to be able to get certain things or stay out of the way. And like, I don't, I wouldn't be able to do that if I was not physically capable of being able to do that. Mm -hmm. Um, so I, I like, I mean, then you get into like your, your mental health. Like I wouldn't be able to continue or feel the discipline that I have or have that mindset that I can do anything or be optimistic if I, was depressed or you know mm. like any other type of like you know mental hindrance and i think when one is able to and it, it is all a balance and like things come in waves but if one is has the tools and the know-how to be able to manage those times when they're not in the best mindset or whatever and to know how to bounce back like that too is something that can be a hindrance to someone's personal um, or, you know, creative growth as an artist or, you know, as someone that works for themselves. So I think being able to, uh, you know, have that maintenance right. in all areas of our lives is like really important because I feel like that could be, you know, a make or break thing for someone to continue on pursuing mm. their career or their dreams and just deciding not to. Mm, absolutely. And, you know, the idea of continuing your dreams and your pursuit on a path where you initially were very excited, then things maybe aren't going as planned. So you get that feeling of depression or anxiety and you're almost to the point of like, uh, is this right for me? I, I want to give up. I guess from a practical sense, what are things that you have learned to kind of help your mental strength or mental stability in moments that are tough? Well, um, well, first and foremost, I meditate. Mm. Um, I've gone through therapy. You know, I think therapy is definitely one of those things that um, is hugely helpful. Uh, I know like they're like getting access to therapy um, isn't always the most readily available for people. But even then, like just being like having people to talk to, like knowing that, like having the ability and the time space to like let things out um, is like hugely helpful. But then I also think it's one of those things that is also, you know, it's one of those individual type of things. Uh, I think when someone comes from a certain background and they've had you know, certain struggles, hardships or whatever, like that builds some type of mental toughness. It builds some like resilience. And I feel like, uh, between my upbringing, my own journey of healing and growth and all the things I do with that, I feel as though I'm, uh, like an enigma or an outlier when it comes to certain aspects that other people may struggle with because, you know, to me, like there's regardless of whatever may be happening in my life or whatever, it's like, I, this is one thing I tell myself during my meditations or whatever. It's like, everything is okay. 
even if it's not. Mm. You know, I have a roof over my head. I can take care of myself. I can take care of my daughter. Like, regardless of whatever happens, like, I know I can figure it out. I know things will work out. Like, things have always worked out. And it's like, I know I didn't get to this point only just to get to this point. Like, and it, I don't know, it's just my mindset has always been that, like, anything and everything is possible. Right. And I don't think that's ever going to change. And I think once someone is in that type of mindset, you just don't leave. Like you just don't get out of that mindset. You know, it's stuck with you. It's ingrained in you. And I, that's literally the, probably the, my biggest strong points is my mental toughness. Mm. Um, like I could probably be a Jedi or some shit. Love that. 